all once again i am back with one more video in which we are going to discuss about the python syllabus that is going to be asked on 15 june of tcs dc exam so guys i hope all of you are doing good and all of you might have received congratulations email till now so guys in this video we are going to discuss the python syllabus that is going to be asked tcs team has given certain topics based on which they will ask questions in python exam also they are not going to ask any kind of aptitude mathematical reasoning or logical thinking questions we'll also discuss some sample questions like mcqs which can give you idea that which kind of question they may ask at last i will give you a plan through which you can easily crack the exam so guys this time it is very easy to crack the exam because we have three important things that i'm going to discuss the first one is that no interview after the exam second is there will be no hands-on coding in this paper okay after that the question paper will consist of two parts either mcq or code snippets okay so code snippets will consist of multiple line of codes you have to iterate through each line and then finally mark the correct answer but mcq will consist of direct questions you are not required to put much brain into this if you know the solution then you can directly mark the question okay guys before we move ahead please like this video so that it can reach to different people please subscribe the channel and i'm very happy because many of my subscribers have received congratulations email they have given the mock test also and they are well set ready for the tcs dca python exam for 15 june so guys let's start the video and let's see the different topic that is going to be covered by us so guys as you can see here we have here hardly 15 to 20 topics let's take the screenshot and keep it with you let me read the topics one by one basics keywords statement identification comments input output operators data types control flow modules functions oops exception handling file handling regex collections list and tuples dictionaries sets using databases in pythons generators comprehensions and lambda expression guys as you know that we have 15 days left okay and we have 15 topics almost okay so what you have to do is you have to take two topics at one day take basics and keywords one day do the problem and again take these two topics and do the basic level problem then again these two topics and do basic level problem so in one week you can cover all the topics with basic level problems so that you can understand what this topic means in next week what you have to do is you have to again take these topics okay and do the medium to advanced level problems i am not saying that the same questions will come in exam but if you do like this then you can cover both basics and medium level in exam paper they will ask at least 20 to 25 percent easy questions so easy question you can do it easily and for medium to difficult level questions we have already prepared from gigs for gigs or somewhere and you can do it easily i mean it will help you a lot okay so what you have to do is let's suppose you want to prepare for operators so what you have to do is you have to type operators mcq gigs for gigs python then it will come like this you can see here that we have a question like print 9 slash slash 2 so what will be the output of this the output will be 4 because this operator will only return the integral part of solution the solution is 4.5 the integral part is 4 so it will return 4 like this you have to prepare so if you take one more question you can find that which function overloads that this operator so the answer is none of this because r fifth operator overloads this operator okay so if you take one more topic like data type the, you can find that the question will be like this question is which of these is not a core data type the answer is class because to first dictionary list all our basic data types in python okay now let's take one more question like which data type is object below so obviously this is list so guys if you do it like this then every syntax will be familiar to you you will not be getting any new syntax any new type of questions in the exam okay so guys thank you for watching the video please let me know if you want some more video on python